Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bettina and I am the Makeup Enthusiast. If you're new around here, be sure to click the subscribe button down below if you want to hear the ramblings of someone that is absolutely obsessed with makeup, then this is the place for you and make sure you subscribe. In today's video, I am going to be doing a project pan update. This month was successful in some senses, but also not very successful in other senses. Because I was doing my Project 50 sample challenge, I will leave that video linked up in the corner here. This month, I kind of neglected a lot of these products. So quite a few of these products didn't really get touched this month. So I might quickly, I might quickly mention those products and then we can kind of go from there. Products that I didn't touch, my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, my Revlon Lip Butter, Too Faced Naked Dolly Lipstick, Marc Jacobs Lipstick in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, my two Bare Minerals Lipsticks in Speak Your Mind and Make Your Move, Bite Beauty Lipstick in Palomino, and my Makeup Forever Lipstick in N9, and then my two Clinique Chubby Sticks in Mighty Mimosa and Plushes Punch. What else didn't I touch this month? My Vanity Lip Liner in what color was this this is just the pink one my vanity powder my bobby brown retouching powder bare minerals uh, under eye setting powder and my bad to the bronze eyeshadow i did a little bit of work on this but not not that much at all the few products that i did use i used my Too faced shadow insurance maybe once or twice this one I think I'm going to have to start using this as like my daily eyeshadow primer and then I might actually start seeing some progress on it because at the moment I'm not really making a dent because I only really use it when I do like eye looks like this and that's very rare so I think to get this moving I need to start wearing this on a daily basis. Um, in the same vein the NARS duo I have been using this a bit, but it just doesn't seem to be making a dint. So this one, we're going to keep chugging, chugging, chugging. My Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. I use this a fair bit, and when I do use it, I use a fair bit. So I feel like I'm starting to see a little bit of a dip, but at the, at the same time, it's like these bottom two strips here, which is where I predominantly use my brush. Are starting to show some good signs of wear in them but this this thing is huge so it could nearly take me the whole year if not more my elf brow kit I kind of moved this all into one chunk area after my last update as I said I was gonna do in that update so it's kind of more moussey now but I didn't really touch it all that much this month because of my Project 50 samples. I actually had a Anastasia brow powder sample in my in my stash. So I've been using that this month and that's what I have in my brows today. I don't actually know whether I prefer that over this. Still kind of deciding. My Tarte lip gloss, I did end up taking the stopper out of the end of this one. So it's kind of almost finished, but I just need to... The only problem is when you take the stopper out, you do get quite a lot of product on the applicator, as you can see there. I have been using my First Aid Beauty lip treatment. I've put this beside my bed because I finally used up what I had originally beside my bed. So this one we're kind of starting to make a little bit of progress on. I think I've used not very much, the smallest amount, but... Progress is still progress. So there's that one. My Avon little gold dress. I did make a little bit of progress before I popped this one to the side to do my Project 50 sample. So there is a tiny bit of progress on this one. Next, my Too Faced eyeliner. You guys know how much I despise this eyeliner, but we have not much left to go. It is quite creamy and spudgy, so... <laughs> When, you, when I use it on my eyes, it gets quite chunky and can like smudge off and break off. So that's why there's been a fair bit of progress made on this one this month. I'm not the biggest fan of that eyeliner. My Spash... Spashbox. I said that last month. My Smashbox. I just struggle with that word. My Smashbox Full Exposure Travel Palette. There's no pan yet. There's no pan yet, but I am digging for gold with this one. Uh, once again, this color and this color is what I use on the daily, and that's what I'm 
wanting to see pan on like ASAP. Then my Mary Kay concealer. I have made a shit ton of progress on this one this month. We are down to the nitty gritty of it where it's going to start getting difficult to squeeze out. So hopefully this one by the end of next month will be finished. Then I have my Arbonne foundation. I've made a slightly little bit of progress on this one this month. So hopefully with daily use by the end of next month, this one will be finished. So yay. And then lastly was my Josie Moran blush, which was a bit of a frustration for me last month, but I have started. I know one of my subscribers or somebody commented on my last video that I did pot this into a metal pan and I thought that was a fantastic idea. But the only problem was I had a hunt. I swear I had a stash of like empty pans somewhere and I just can't seem to find it. So that solution was kind of impossible for me. Instead of doing that, I've kind of just every like week or so, I've been getting, scraping my spatula around and kind of just heaping it up onto itself like over in this corner. So I am starting to make some decent progress on it. And I don't know whether I will be finished this, this month, maybe the following month, because a little bit with this seems to go a long way. And that's really, really frustrating for me. Now, moving on to the products that I used up and I used up a couple this month and I'm really happy about that. So firstly, I used up two of the vanity lip liners. I used up the one in pout and the other nude one that I didn't have a name for. These ones like still have quite a lot left on the pencil but it got to the point where I was sharpening it one day and just the whole thing lip liner inside just came out into my sharpener so that happened with both of these so I'm hoping that maybe based on that this lip liner might possibly be finished next month or the month after but these ones these make my lipstick look terrible over the top of them and they just make my lips look really um, like old and crepey and I would not recommend these vanity lip liners but they have finally been finished and I'm so excited that I finished them. Then I used up my NARS foundation. This bottle does not look like I've used it up at all but this foundation bottle annoys the shit out of me because of the way it's designed with the square packaging I cannot get my scraper in there properly I've tried a cotton bud and like I can get some extra stuff out with a cotton bud but not really enough to do like a full face it's just really awkward and I just really don't like this packaging I feel like I have been 100% ripped off when I look at this packaging because there's just no way I can get everything out and that really, really frustrates and infuriates me. So this one is going. Then the last one I finished up this month is my Mary Kay finishing spray. This one is all gone. By the end of it, it was kind of doing those like camel spurts. There's, I can hear a tiny little bit left in there, but it just won't come out. So this one is going. I will leave on the screen right now my running total of my project pan. I think last month's product was $46 from memory. I will add these four products to my running total and that way you can see what I'm up to. But hopefully we might be hitting or over the $200 mark. Having said that, I have made quite a lot of not progress on a lot of products. I'm going to actually introduce some products. Firstly, because I've used up my Mary Kay finishing spray, I am adding the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. So that's that one there. I'm not quite sure how much is in this. I'm thinking it might almost be full, maybe the three quarter mark. That's kind of what it's feeling like, but there's that one. And then I am adding in these two. Now this is the Garnier Fructus pure volume dry shampoo. This one is almost used up. I'd say maybe it's got about a quarter to a third left. And then this is the Pantene Pro V dry shampoo. And I'd say this one is probably about three quarters. So these are just two dry shampoos that I really don't like. And I know even though this one is nearly finished, 
it still just sits to the side in my collection because I don't like them. So I feel like adding them in my project pan really motivates me to reach for these guys and use them up. So that's why I am including these two. So that's it for this month. A pretty quick update for this month's project pan. I am happy with my progress, but I'm also a little bit disappointed because there was quite a few products this month that I didn't really make any progress at all. Having said that though, on another sense of project panning with my project 50 samples, I have pretty much cleaned out my sample drawer. So I, in that sense, I am super duper proud of myself. I can't really be beating myself up this month about my lack of progress on my project pan. Let me know down in the comments box if you're doing a project pan. I would love to check out your videos or your blog posts if you're doing one. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button down below. I am currently uploading videos twice a week, so Monday and Friday. Thanks for stopping by and clicking on this video, everyone, and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye, everyone.